You should destroy your nose. I will destroy my nose one day. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Blow it up with a stick of dynamite. Authorities have still have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship S's Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gatian Port. There have been no reports of, flo uh, of flotsam, flotsam. That, that may indicate the that ship's stuff sinking. floating on the ocean. <laughs> cool. The breeze. I never knew that. Yeah, man. I thought I was like a Pokemon There's flotsam or and jetsam. Huh? I think. What is jets? It's for these Pokemon? There, there's differences. I'm not. I think jetsam might be that like. Have you ever been to the beach, and you see like, on the, like when it's coming in, there's like the tides? foam, oh. like gross looking foam on there. Oh, yeah. I think that might be that. The authorities appear mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports that numerous Pokemon were aboard. On board. Concern is rising over their welfare. Pokemon. They haven't got their welfare checks. Pokemon. Pokemon have welfare. Yeah, man. They need the money. <laughs> Little boy Blue. He needed the money. <laughs> ah! Wow, a cargo ship carrying I'm Pokemon finding that a little a hard to swallow. <laughs> 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 Alright, continue. Is that really possible? I'm finding it a little hard to swallow. I didn't even notice he said that. <laughs> I didn't notice he said that. Ugh. Cider. All right. That's quag. That's quag, sire. Quag. 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 You big ass quag. Quag. Was he ever in the TV show? Yeah. Okay, I don't remember what he sounds like at all. Quagsire. What's that thing in the top right? Oh, that was, uh... Hold up. Uh, Curlia? Don't do it. Uh... Yeah, I think it's... <laughs> it's like a joke. <laughs> it's like a joke. <laughs> I used to like have a crush. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was like I was in this like, game. Oh no, in real life, dude. You, no, huh? This is Pineco. Don't fight him. You don't need to do that. Pie. <laughs> so how do you Pie. how do you think this kid gets around? Uh, skateboard. Oh, hold on. Hold Heelys. On. <laughs> I bet he's a Heely kind of guy. <laughs> or pogo stick. Hi, Con. I've heard about you. Sounds like you've been wrecking up outstanding scores in this battle sim system. But instead of that virtual reality stuff, how about a real battle for a change? Sure. <laughs> Super Trainer Efford. Dude, these, Efford. Names, these names are really stupid. Centret? Centret, yeah. What is it? Huh? Eh? Eevee? Eh? We should play Pokemon Stadium. This is a... Uh... We should play Pokemon Stadium 2. We should play all the mini games in it. I've never played Pokemon Stadium other than when I was a kid. Because <clears throat> my cousin owned it. The mini games are the best. I remember my cousin threw and his... it has battles. I remember my cousin threw his N64 controller at me because I stepped on the restart when he was playing Pokemon Stadium. The restart button on the N64. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was... That'll that, do. Apologies for how loud that was. Was even loud. Uh, You're so loud, dude. It was all the way. It was. Filled up. Uh, yeah, this game. This is. This is. Oh, I love this game. Uh -huh. Hey, you want to see something loud? No. <laughs> this is gonna be con. Oh wait, hold on. Con. God damn it! <laughs> I remember there's something over here. There's so many of these damn things, dude. Well, then you don't need them. Well, they're like secret. You know, like the Pokeballs in like the actual game that you like found walking around? Yeah. That's what those are. I know. I figured that. Yeah. Of course. Kamiko's house. Oh. Nice scooter. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's how he gets around. What's that thing? Groudon. <clears throat> Groudon? Dude, you're What's a Rayquaza? Rayquaza? Rayquaza. Uh, it's another one. Why is it so dark? Uh, 
Because Kamiko is a evil scientist, dude. Ooh. Do your Professor Plum voice. Wait. Who goes there? <clears throat> <laughs> you must be a burglar. Jobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Jobin is the name, and Jobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminko. Jobin is the only assistant, so Jobin has to be the number one assistant. Let us battle. <laughs> It'll be magnificent. A magnificent battle. It will be uh, told for years. It will be significant. So, uh, bite? Come on. I'm pretty bite. sure. Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure bite can crit, and he can just bite him. Uh, yeah, there it goes. No, it, it makes him flinch. So I take bite him. Bite. Also, I love how Eevee turns into Sonic for a second there. Yeah. That. uh... Or Red Thirteen. Red 13 does that. Yeah, Whenever I've, he crits, I never he got does that, a I never got, Blanca attack. Never got that far in Final Fantasy VII. Dude, bro, man, guy, friend. <laughs> He's like naming him. <laughs> Pal, buddy, acquaintance. That game is the shield, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the shizzit come from? Popeyes. <laughs> Popeyes taught me that that stuff is the shiz man. <laughs> Popeyes gives me the shiz man. I love it. Love that chicken from Popeyes. 150p. Were you going to talk about pandas or something? Uh, yeah, pandas. Uh huh. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick. I. <laughs> I mean, pandas are. I mean, they look pretty cool, and they're seemingly peaceful and junk. But uh, I told Cole before we started <laughs> recording again, before I moved back down to Georgia, <laughs> to write down some topics to talk about when we record. And I asked him before the session, "Do you have any topics?" He goes. Pandas. And I'm like, alright, cool, maybe he has some fun fact to talk about. <laughs> you were so ill-prepared for talking about pandas. <laughs> uh, they're cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, did you know that apparently um, uh -huh. pandas deserve to be extinct? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? not literally, but, like, they don't care enough to reproduce to live. <laughs> they're, Wait, like, they're so lazy, and they just don't care. Like, they won't go out of their own way to, like, reproduce. To bedoink? So we have to, like, make them reproduce. <laughs> To keep them living as a species. There ain't Jobin. Apparently. <clears throat> You've made Jobin angry now. Even though Jobin lost, you're still not going past Jobin. Unless you bring me some Popeyes. <laughs> I do like Popeyes. <laughs> I hear uh, Popeyes chicken is the she's I could uh, bring you a chicken sandwich. I have like a pizza. That would do. I have a pizza delivery bike after all. That might do. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. Ha ha ha! Jobin wishes you spoke up right away. I don't speak at all. <laughs> Dude, Professor Paul to say con. Con! <laughs> Jobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. And that's your sister. <laughs> or my sister. Hello, sis. <clears throat> <gasps> oh, 
Oh, big brother, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big brother, you got lost, didn't you? <laughs> Jovi thought so. Big brother, you look dependable, but then you make silly mistakes. This big house is Dr. Kaminko's. Dr. Kaminko's job is to make incredible inventions. Whew, sorry. There's a whole bunch of neat machines, like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab. You should come in too, big brother. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Con! <laughs> You're that girl's older brother. Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chobin finds it hard keeping an eye on her. So that she does not bother the doctor. Oh yes, Con. <laughs> it's the fucking greatest name. You will have a look at Dr. Coming goes inventions. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what are you laughing? Uh, okay, this way, please. Follow Chubin. <laughs> so funny that you just like broke into laughter. DR Kaminko, dude. <laughs> okay. Is that really <laughs> that funny? No. <clears throat> Read faster. Okay. Chobin will now show you the inventions of the inestimable Dr. Kaminko. Dr. Kaminko's inventions, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. <laughs> oh? Why does Chobin know that they are one, number one worldwide? That needs explaining. In the whole wide world, wide no world. one but Dr. Kaminko would invent such inventions. inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world without con question. Question. What is that one thing that I was thinking about? Like, we watched that movie, and like that one guy would. Uh, it was, no, it was. Uh, we were watching. Uh, uh, he got, like, the money from his uncle or whatever they never knew about. And he had to spend it all. Brewster's Millions? Yeah, but it looked like the guy, the blonde guy who was standing behind him, repeating everything he said. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Kaminko, who is verily great, is inventing in that room there. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, big hair. <laughs> what right, big you. hair you have. <laughs> What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know. A pair of scissors that can cut my hair. Because <laughs> it's one big hair. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> it's it's not a multiple uh -oh. strand. That girl is at Dr. Kaminko's side again. It's just one Chobin big hair that's been causing a real no problem my entire life. Continue. It's, a, it's like a punching bag. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty big here. <laughs> it won't stay still. It's like a cup. <laughs> when it rains, I'm in very big trouble. <laughs> it just weighs it all down. <laughs> it's like tilts his like... head over like a cup to pour out the rainwater. No, his head is just a bird feeder. <laughs> bird bath. <laughs> <laughs> and he's trying to like the whole reason he's inventing is it like to help save humanity. He's just to cut the one hair. That is mm -hmm. on his head. <clears throat> you can continue now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> anyway, let Chobin acquaint you with just <laughs> some of <laughs> Dr. Kaminko's greatest conventions. <laughs> let the VCR roll. That's totally Introducing... Dr. Kaminko's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is this. Ta-da! Moon shoes! <laughs> <laughs> it's not, you're not wrong! <laughs> the insole is studded with lumpy nubs that, uh... Fail to stimulate. Every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee that you can jump higher, run faster. Nike. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. 
Just buy it. Chubb and things. Superlative. 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 Yeah, yeah. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Okay, calm down, dude. Moon shoes! <laughs> <laughs> dude. I, do you want a pair of moon shoes? No. They're terrible. I want a pogo stick. It's, I was just about to fucking say, my friend uh, Austin, one of my old rich friends. I do not want a pogo stick. Uh, we tried. To, he tried to. Moon I want a basketball. <laughs> he tried to, and a gold. He tried to pogo on with moon shoes on. How'd that work out? Uh, he hurt his ankle. I think he's. Yeah. I don't think he sprained. I think he just bruised it up. Yeah. Uh, I want a pogo stick and roller skates in that order. Oh yeah. Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Mm. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got mm. here. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to get home, right? Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. Let me eat you, Mimi. You want to go rollerblading? Hold up, she's about to eat her Pokemon. Oh. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> How okay. many licks does it take? To get to the center of a mining. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently one. Just one. She just, just ate it whole. One. She just ate it whole. Hey, um, uh, uh, I got a question for you. You want to save it till next time? No. Okay, what is it? No, we can save it. It's fine. Okay, see you guys next time. Dear Carl.